I used to be the medical health officer uh, for Central Vancouver Island, and uh, Cowichan Valley was uh, was part of the uh, area that I looked after. I think, in a microcosm, the Cowichan Valley is like British Columbia or Canada. There's there's areas in there that are doing extremely well, and there's other areas that are not doing so well. Cowichan, in the local Salish language, means warm land. And this has kept 80,000 of us happily living in the Cowichan Valley. The Cowichan Valley is a bountiful homeland with good farmland, huge forests to work, seafood within reach, countless recreational possibilities, and close enough to the larger cities of Victoria and Nanaimo for more jobs and opportunities. But like communities everywhere, the social and economic benefits are not distributed equally. And this inequality directly affects the health of our people. And when we do get sick or injured, the Cowichan Valley is blessed with the same excellent services of the Canadian medical system, with doctors and ambulances feeding our publicly owned hospitals in our major centres. But this documentary is not about the care we get when we're sick. It is devoted to health promotion, a simple idea of keeping people healthy so they won't get sick. The World Health Organization recognizes that there are many preventable health issues which exist between and within countries and formed a commission to report on the social determinants which affect health. So one of the clear messages is that the practice of health promotion has to embrace social determinants of health. What the Commission on Social Determinants of Health did was to try and give practical policy guidance of what you could actually do on early child development and education, on women and gender equity, on living conditions, on employment conditions, on fair financing and so on. We tried to get detailed about the action that needed to be done. Uh, we have about 250 to 450 organizations in, in the Cowichan Valley that deliver services to the community and utilize volunteers. Addressing all aspects of life, really. Uh, spiritual, physical, emotional, um, social, uh, environmental, and any other way that you can imagine. Uh, there are large organizations that uh, maintain branch offices here. Um, national organizations like the Red Cross Society or the Canadian Cancer Society. And there are small initiatives driven by one or two people who uh, want to address a particular issue in the, in the community. 